good shape. I've been stirring it for close to 10 minutes now. Added just a bit more flour, probably about 15 grams worth of flour. And I think that did it. I think that turned corner for this. It's even changing as I'm talking right now. So it's just uh, got to work it a little bit and give it time. I know just letting it sit for a moment, letting it relax, even just for like a minute, um, really does help with building its elasticity. It lets it rest for a moment and it seems to just get stronger when you let it sit for a little while. Also, it's a good time to get all this crap off your, your, your fingers because you're not gonna use it anyway and it's already starting to dry so you don't want that in there but the moist parts are okay. My hands are, I always wash my hands like I'm going into surgery so it's not a big deal. Um, fingernails are cut even so no nothing. Anyway, let it sit. Notice it, it gets a little bit, a little bit better every time you let it sit for a moment. So good amount of water in here, flour and our two types of flour mixed in. I think we're in really good shape. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a move here in about a minute. and ready I think so I got what you don't see is I have two pups here on the side ready to eat you ready to eat lady bear yeah she raises her head so I gotta start making their food so we'll let this it's all mixed together we'll let this sit for an hour and then we'll get ready we'll start on our next step which is salt and starter but everything's off to a pretty good start now good does not have a the reason I wanted to seal it is because it'll develop a skin sometimes and the last time it got too really thick and I didn't want to have a, that's hard to break so rather than worry about a skin I just put it in the sealed bowl that's greased and it comes out beautifully as you can see this thing feels really good it feels like I just took it out it feels airy feels wet so I think we're in good shape And it'll make folding in the salt significantly easier. Sometimes if it gets that skin, you really have to beat it up to get the salt in. So this feels much better. All right, I fed the starter around 13 hours ago or so. So it's nice and fluffy. I did made it sort of dry because I wanted to um, to make sure that um, it works a little bit better when it's a drier starter. A little bit. It makes the starter come out easier. It almost dropped the whole thing out of there. Okay. Look good. Looks good. Feels good. Smells good. I think we're in good shape. I'm going to go ahead and move it. So, okay. Starter's incorporated salt. Everything's mixed together. It is uh, almost 9.30 in the morning, so pretty good, um, making pretty good time on this. So let it sit for an hour, and then we'll get, to get on to our next steps. All right, first fold.
All right, we're getting some air bubbles in here. Everything feels good. First fold is done. Uh, two more folds to go. All right, we're nice and tight. Everything smells really good. Give it its nice little slap and we're, uh, second fold's done. One more fold to go. And uh, I think we're, it's coming along. It's coming along all right. Which is the final fold. Got a bunch of air bubbles. I thought that was like a piece of gunk, but it was actually just a bubble. <clears throat> it's nice and jiggly. It's nice and airy. Feels, feels really good. So I think we're in really good shape now. It's nice and smooth. super nice so I think we'll, we'll be ready I'm gonna give this uh, this last fold here then I'm going to let it sit for an hour again and we'll work on shaping it and putting it in our pan but uh, I'm pretty sure this is gonna be good look how jiggly it is this is what you want the way it moves like this means there's a lot of air in it so we're in good shape let it rest again, and yeah, we'll have, I think we might have some good bread today. Okay, we're at the point where we fold, so I'm going to put some flour in here, flour up my pan. Nice and soft, nice and jiggly, airy. I like to stretch it out, size it up to the pan. stretch is I don't move where I'm at my hands are I just pull it so it stretches it out to here I try to keep it within the confines of the pan too so this does two things it stretches it out don't let it get too wet don't let this is a little bit wet but that's fine that's what I want okay so stretch it out and then we're smoothing it so it comes out to a nice smooth um, surface like that and there you go you'll see that it fits in the pan Ooh, this thing is nice and jiggly that's great hold on other social medias uh, ask for time to so okay this thing, how jiggly it is. It's very, it's like a very airy today. This is a, I think that's a good sign. Into the pan, one, one foul swoop. Let it sit like this. I'm gonna cover it with uh, saran wrap. I'm gonna let it sit in the oven with the light on for about two hours. And I think we're in great shape. This thing feels, this is the best one I've ever felt. I'm getting, it feels like I'm close to actually doing it right. <laughs> so, cover. And uh, I'll be back in two hours. All right, it's expanded quite a bit. There's air bubbles. It's gotten oh, considerably taller too. So we are ready to go. The oven is preheating. Um, let's uh, get this thing wrapped up.
always takes way too long and I'm always bad at it. It's the one thing I've not gotten any better at doing. But, uh, gotta wait for the oven to preheat. And, uh, it will be set. It's got a good rise to it, uh, split right down the middle, looks a little more even too. So it was just below the rim and now it's about a two inches above, so it's nice and high and just giving it about 20, 23 minutes or so and I found that that's the best time to give it to color in this oven. Give it about another minute and it should be ready. The, um, color is almost there. The ears are getting a little bit dark, which is good, so uh, looks good. Good rise. It smells really nice. Distance, on it. good height. I mean, it's got a real nice color to it. It's a big old bubble right there, a bunch of small bubbles. This slit and this slit combined into the center one. Maybe I should just do a center one again, or make like a U or something like that. Anyway, that's just aesthetics. Um, it's got a good height to it. It rose a considerable amount, so you actually have like a decent piece of bread, like when you toast. So, smells really good. It's like 535 right now, so we'll give it like three, three and a half, four hours. Let it completely cool, and then we'll give it a taste. But, I mean, it looks, looks really pretty. It's one of those that looks kind of fake. Alright, it's been, uh, oh look, there's a little gap there where it folds. Nice and hollow. It's been about it's about ten o'clock at night now. Let's take a look. looks like a loaf of bread and this is like the thinner part too so it gets a bit taller has that nice hollow sound Really nice flavor, good texture. I think I'm starting to find a good pattern here, good consistency. Um, but yeah, another good loaf of bread. I think this is really, really what it's supposed to be now. I think it started to get there. <laughs> 